And thus today marks the day I sold my soul for a cupcake. What's up guys? It's me and Jeremiah. Today we're gonna play some Doki Doki Literature Club. Please enter your name. Let's call it let's call us uh Cult of Brothers. Wait, 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 what are we gonna call ourselves? Yetus. Fine. Yetus. Alright. Hey! Oh god. I see an annoying girl running towards me from the distance, waving her arms in the air like she's totally obvious to to any attention. Oblivious to any attention. She might draw her to herself. The girl is Sayori, my neighbor and a good friend since we were children. You know the kind of friend you never see yourself making? Okay, I'm just gonna skip. I overslept again. You, you, you look like you're uh, a wide awake. What are you talking about? Actually, no, she did oversleep. <laughs> so it's actually like but I caught you this time. Maybe only because I decided to stop and wait for you. <laughs> hey, you, you want to do the other people, and I can do you just. <laughs> no, I cannot do a high voice. You don't. You don't have to do a high voice. You can just do your regular voice. Yeah, do it, you won't. You say that, uh, that, like, you, okay, I can't talk like that. You say that like you were thinking about ignoring me. That's mean, Yetus. Alright, you can do Yetus then. Well, people stare at you for acting weird, then I don't want them to think we're a couple or something. Fine, fine. But... You did wait for me after all. I guess you don't have it in you to be to be mean, even if you want to. Yeah. Whatever you. S oh wait, no, that's you. <laughs> okay. <laughs> we cross the street together and make our way to the school. As we draw near, the streets become increasingly speckled with other students making their daily commute. By the way, Yetus, have you decided on a club to join yet? Club? I told you. Oh. I'm not really in any clubs. I haven't been looking at yeah, either. Eh, that's not true. You told me you will join a club this year. Yeah. I'm sure it's possible that I did. In one of our many conversations where I dismissively. Go along with whatever she says about going on about. Okay. I cannot read, actually. Sayori likes to worry a little bit much about me. Well, and I'm perfectly content just getting by on the average while spending my free time on games and anime. That sounds like my life. You don't watch anime. You only do games. Uh-huh. I was talking about how I, I'm worried... That you won't learn how to socialize or have any skills before college. Your happiness is really important to me, you know. What is wrong with you? <laughs> and you just look deadly. Yeah, in post, let's just zoom in onto her eyes. Yeah, like that. There we go. Yep, do that. And I know you're happy now, but I die at the thought of you becoming a neat in a few years. What the fuck's a neat? Because you're not used to the real world. Trust me, right? No, bitch. Don't make me keep worrying about you. Will you at least promise me you'll try a little? Yeah, I guess I promise that. Yay. Why do I let myself get lectured by such a carefree girl? More than that, I'm surprised I even let myself be lent to her. I guess seeing her worry so much about me makes me want to ease her mind at least a little bit, even if she does exaggerate everything inside her head. We're finally at goddamn school. The school days is as it... Fuck, the school day is as ordinary as it could ever be. It's over before I know it. After packing up my things, I stare blankly at the wall, looking for an ounce of motivation. 
So I'm going to check out some clubs. I guess I had no choice but to start with the anime club. That's kind of like the best club ever. Hello? Hello, it's your line. <laughs> I said Sayori. Sayori must have come into this classroom while I was spacing out. I looked around and realized I'm the only one left in the classroom. What? Okay. I thought I catch up. I ca thought I catch you coming out of the classroom, but I saw you just sitting here and I s and spacing out. So I came in. Honestly, you're even worse than me sometimes. I'm impressed. You don't need to wait up for me if it's going to make you late to your own club. Well, I thought you might need some encouragement, so I thought you know, you know what. So that you could come to my club. Siori. Yeah. There is no way I'm gonna let you... I'm, there's no way I'm gonna... Going... Fuck. There is no way I'm going to your club. Eh, meanie. Siori is the vice president of the literature club. Not that I was ever aware that she had any interest in literature. In fact, I'm 99% sure she only did it because she thought it would be fun to help start a new club since she was the first one to show interest after one who proposed the club she inherited the title of vice president why that said my interest in literature is guaranteed to be even less yeah yeah I'm going to the anime club come on please why do you care so much anyway well I kinda told the club yesterday I'll be bringing a new member and that's Skooky made cupcakes and everything. Eh. Don't make promises you can't keep. I can tell if Sora really is really that much of an airhead. Or if she is so cunning as to have planned all this out. I let, I let out a long sigh. Fine, I'll stop by for a cupcake, okay? Yes, let's go. And thus, today marks the day I sold my soul for a cupcake. Oh god. <laughs> I dejectedly follow Siori across the school and upstairs, a section of school I rarely visit. Being generally used to... Being generally used for third year classes and activities, Siori, full of energy, swings open the classroom door. Hey everyone, the new member is here. I told you, don't call me a new member. Uh, I glance around the room. Why your name, girl one? Welcome to the literature club. It's a pleasure meeting you. She always, always says nice things about you. Seriously, you brought a boy? Wait, I'm a boy? <laughs> way to kill up, way to kill the atmosphere. Ah, he is. What a nice surprise. Welcome to the club. Ah. Uh, Wait, no, I think you're the creepy one, actually. <laughs> All words escape me in the situation. This club is full of incredibly cute girls. I swear to God, I think I'm getting a boner in this game. What are you looking at? If you want to say something, say it. S sorry. Natsuki! Hmm. The girl... With the sour attitude, whose name is apparently Nasuki, is one I don't recognize. My small finger is making me think she's probably your first year. Okay. She, why are you looking at her fingers, actually? She is also the one who made cupcakes, according to Sayori. You can ignore her when she gets moody. Sayori says that quietly into my ears. Then turns back towards the other girls. Anyway, this is Nasuki, always full of energy. I can see. And this is Yuri, the smartest in the club. Don't say things like that. Yuri, who appears comparatively more mature and timid, seems to have a hard time keeping up with people like Siori and Nasuki. Oh, well, it's nice to meet both of you. 
And it sounds like you already knew Monica, is that right? That's right. I swear to God, I'm pretty sure she's the creepy one that all the internet memes are about and shit. Is she the president of this club? It's great to see you again, you just... That's not sweetie, sweetly at all. We don't know each other well. We rarely talked, but we were in the same class last year. Monica was always probably the most popular girl in class. Smart, beautiful, and athletic. Why am I describing her like this? Basically, completely out of my league. So having her smile at me so so generally feels a little. You, you too, Monica. Come, sit down, Edis. I made room for you at the table so you can sit next to me or Monica. I'll get the cupcakes. Hey, I made them. I'll get them. Sorry, I, I got a little ex too excited. I'm, I'm honestly scared. I'd happily make some tea as well. Why are they doing so nice things to me? The girls have a few decks arranged to form a table. As Jory mentioned, it's been widened, so there is one space next to Monica and one space next to Siori. Nasuki and Yori walked all over the corner of the room, where Nasuki grabs in a wrapped tray and Yori opens the closet. Still feeling awkward, I take a seat next to Sayori. Natsuki proudly marches back to the table, tray in hand. Okay, you are you ready? Ta-da! Whoa! Natsuki lifts the foil off the tray to reveal a dozen white fluffy cupcakes decorated to look like little cats. The whiskers are drowned with icing and little pieces of chocolate were used to make ears. So cute! I had no idea you were so good at baking, Natsuki. <laughs> well, you know. Just hurry and take one. I'm doing a voice for them now. Shiori grabs one, then Monica, I file. It's delicious! Shiori walks. I cannot do a girl voice. Shiori walks with her mouth full and has already managed to get icing on her face. You dirty bitch. I turn the cupcakes around in my fingers, looking for the best angle to take a bite. Why? Nasuki is crying. I can't help but notice her sneaking and glance in my direction. Is she waiting for me to take a bite? Finally bit down. The icing is sweet and full of flavor. I wonder if she made it herself. I am actually wondering that too. She doesn't look like a good cook. I mean, Baker. This is... Really good. Thank you, Nesuki. Why are you thanking me? It's not like I... I what? Haven't I heard this somewhere before? Made them for you or anything? I thought you technically did, sorry, say. Well, maybe. But not for you. You know, you dummy. I am... You're, conf you're confusing me very, very, very hard here, Nosuke. I don't know what you're talking about or on about. All right, all right. I give, uh, I give up on Nosuke's weird logic and dismiss the conversation. Yuri, Yuri returns to the table, carrying a tea set. She carefully places a teacup in front of each of us before setting down the teapot next to the cupcake tray. You keep a whole tea set in this classroom? Don't worry. The teachers gave us permission. After all, a hot cup of tea helps you enjoy a good book. What the fuck's wrong with me? Uh, I guess. <laughs> Lois, <laughs> Lois. <laughs> Don't let yourself get intimidated. Yuri's just trying to impress you. Uh, that's not... Are you sure? Insulted Yuri looks away. I meant that, you know, I believe you. Well, tea and reading it may not be a pastime for me, but at least... But at least I... At least enjoy tea. I'm glad. Yuri faintly smiles to herself in relief. Monica raises an eyebrow and then smiles at me. Why? Stop smiling at me. So what made you consider the literature club? Um... I was afraid of this question. I am too. 
Something tells me I shouldn't tell Monica that I was practically dragged here by Sori. Really? I haven't I haven't joined any clubs yet, and Sori seems really happy here, so... That's okay, don't be embarrassed. We'll make, your, we'll make sure you feel right at home, okay? As president of the literature club, it's my duty to make the club fun and exciting for everyone. What's exciting about writing and reading books? Monica, I'm surprised. How come you decided to start your own club? You could probably be a board member for any of the major clubs. You Weren't you a leader of the debate club last year? Ah, ah, well, you know. To be honest, I can't stand all the politics around the major clubs. It feels like nothing but arguing about the budget and publicly, and publicity. Fuck, I can't say that word. And how to be prepare for, prepare for events. I cannot read today. I'd much rather take something I personally enjoy and make something special out of, out of it. And if it encourages others to get into literature, then I've been feeling that dream. Monica is a great leader. No, she's not. Yuri also nods in degree. Then I'm surprised there aren't more people in the club yet. It must be hard to start a new club. You can put it that way. Not many people are very interested in putting out for all the effort to start something brand new. Especially when it's something that doesn't grab your attention like literature. Exactly, I don't like literature. I hate reading and writing. You have to work hard to convince people that you're that you're both fun and worthwhile. But it makes but it makes school events feel like the festival that are much more important. I'm confident that we can re all really grow in this club before we graduate. Right, everyone? Yeah. We'll do our best. You know it. Everyone enthusiastically agrees. Just different girls all interested in the same goal. Let's see. Creepy one. Weirdo. Smart. Youngest. Okay. Monica must have worked really hard just to find these three. No, I don't think you even had to work hard at all. Maybe that's why they were all so delighted by the idea of a new member joining. Though, I still don't really know if I can keep up with their level of enthusiasm about literature. Yeah, me neither. So, Yudis, what kind of things do you like to read? Well, uh, considering how little I read in the past few years, I don't really have a good way of answering that. Manga? I muttered quietly at myself, half joking. Nasuki suddenly perks up. Look like she wants to say something, but keeps quiet. Not much of a reader, I guess. Well, that can change. What am I saying? What am I saying? I spoke without thinking after seeing Yuri's sad smile. Anyways, what about you, Yuri? Well, let's see. Yuri traces the rim of her teacup with her fingers. My favorites are usually novels that build deep and complex fantasy worlds. The right level of creativity and craftsmanship behind them is amazing to me. Actually, I kind of like fantasy books. I'm actually, I don't really like reading as much as these people do, but I actually enjoy reading when I actually get into the book. And telling a good story in such a foreign world is, especially, is equally impressive. Yuri goes on, clearly passionate about her reading. She seems so reserved and timid since the moment I walked in, but it's obvious by the way her eyes lit up that she finds her comfort in the world of books, not people. But you know, I like a lot of things. Stories that... Stories with deep physiological phys phys elements usually immerse me as well. Isn't it amazing how a writer can so deliberately take advantage of her of your own lack of imagination to completely throw your you for a loop? I don't know. Anyway, I've been reading a lot of horror lately. Oh Jesus! Ah, I read a I read a horror book once. 
I should simply grasp at something I can relate to and a manipulator will. At this rate, Yuri might as well be be having a conversation with the rock. Really? I wouldn't have expected that, Yuri. With some for someone as gentle as you. I guess you could say that. Alright, I'm just gonna leave it off here. This seems like a good this seems like a good place to leave it off. Can I just save it? Off. Oh, this. There we go. Now I'm going to leave it off here. If you guys enjoyed the video, did make sure to leave a like and subscribe for more Doki Doki Literature Club. I guess this is a thing now. And yeah, bye.